I am here with Bettina Lucia from the World Food Program. They feed about 100 million people worldwide, right? That's correct, yes. Uh, we are the largest aid organization in the world. We are in many countries, over 70 countries, uh, and we reach about um, 100 million people every year. And if you translate that to, you know, living here in the United States, where I'm based now, it's almost as if we're helping every third American. So it's a huge, you know, reach. We're deep in the field and in some of the most dangerous and difficult places on Earth. We got flip cam uh, cameras um, a year or two ago, thousands of them when, when flip cams uh, were slowly phased out. And we gave them to aid workers all over the world and we gave them to, you know, beneficiaries. And Molly was just this natural talent, just filming her daily life, you know, how it is going to school, how it is living with her brother and how hard it is, you know, to do the homework. But at the same time, they were much more interested in, in homework than I ever was or the kids mm -hmm. in the Roman school were. Uh, and, and you don't often get a glimpse of life, uh, how it is uh, as a girl in Africa. And she... Mm -hmm has done an amazing job uh, being very humble about it, but at the same time, really sharing her experience. You could tell that that education and, you know, furthered by a good meal at school is so powerful for them. It's so important for them. It's in many places all over the world, it's the only meal they get. In America, when we think of like feeding hungry children in African countries, you know, we, we see these pictures of these kids that are barely alive and they're skinny and everything like that. You know, this is, this is, this is an image, in my opinion, of pity. You know, let's pity this, these poor kids that can't help themselves. You're doing something very different, though. It seems like you are um, really honoring the dignity and respect and power within this individual and within probably hundreds of thousands of other individual children to to get to take responsibility and 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 let their own voice be heard you know and that's very unusual i think for 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 actually a non uh, for for a nonprofit to actually bring in you know the people that they serve bring them in so closely to the mm -hmm. awareness process to the fundraising process you know yeah and it's also you know the thing the thing is is important when you travel as i've done you know various and and tough places all over the world you're again and again struck by the dignity of people what we are doing is not a handout what we are doing is we try to empower people uh, in in various ways whether you are in a refugee camp somewhere where we teach uh, women how to build you know energy efficient stoves so that they have to collect less firewood and have less risk of going out and getting raped uh, to the school meals that we're doing all over the world where more than 20 million kids get school meals from us to job training programs uh, somewhere you know i went with christina aguilera to guatemala and we visited a mushroom farm where these women farmers had learned how to make a business and how to feed their families and, you know, become independent from aid. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the goal. You're again and again struck by the dignity of, of the people. And and you are also, you know, uh, struck by what all is possible. Mm -hmm. um, one of our big success stories is uh, Paul Tagat. Paul Tagat uh, was a kid in Kenya when he was seven years old, uh, the World Food Program came uh, to give him school meals. And, you know, he stayed in school. His body developed well because of the good nutrition he got. He, he got a good education. And when he was 19, he discovered that he was really fast. And he went on to become the fastest marathon runner in the world. Hmm. What you're actually, in that example, you gave that boy more than a meal. You gave him a, a horizon, you know. So he could see beyond his current situation. Yeah, and I think also it, it's also important that we show the success stories. We want that um, the people we are helping now one day will become, you know, self-reliant and don't need our assistance anymore. Well, listen, thank you so much for taking the time to, to chat today. And um, Thank you so much for having me. It was yeah. wonderful talking to you. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot more than I ever expected from this interview, really. I'm glad. So. Thank you for thank you for sharing our story. Oh yeah, you're welcome.